Mike from Craft Brew Morphology coming to you for round four of the series where I do a rack rundown of the various projects that I'm working. Today we're going to be looking at things in the blue-eyed leucistic complex. Um, I only have one visual, uh, well super, acts like super um, blue-eyed Lucy at the moment, but I do have uh, butter, Mojave uh, sprinkled around um, throughout my collection. So today I'm just going to show off um, the various you know, blue-eyed leucistic complex genes that I have here uh, and give you an idea of where I could potentially hit some cool uh, blue-eyed Lucy's with some extra stuff involved. So on to the light box. All right the first one here is just a butter. Um, she is a proven breeder. She gave me a clutch last year. Um, there were eight eggs. Four were viable. Um, I did hit a, a blue-eyed Lucy. Unfortunately um, it was really kinked as were the other ones that didn't make it from the eggs. And sadly, I did lose um, one of my leopard pastel girls that she produced. She was one of my best uh, ones from that clutch. Unfortunately, you know, things happen. Um, so she is available. Uh, if you guys are interested, she is on Morph Market. Um, so head over. Uh, she's listed for like $200. So she's relatively inexpensive uh, when it comes to a proven breeder. Um, and as also her um, offspring are available. There's two uh, male pastels and a female leopard pastel. Um, those aren't listed on Morph Market. Uh, they might be show snakes, but anyway, uh, this is one of the you know bases for creating a blue-eyed Lucy. So uh, she is not going for me this year because she is for sale. Okay, this guy here is the sire to that clutch that my butter produced. He is a super pastel leopard butter. So this year he's being paired to my Blue-Eyed Lucy. So everything that's going to be reduced is either going to be pastel butter or pastel Mojave. Um, and that is the only pairing I'm doing this year to try to make bells. It's a different pairing from last year. Uh, and I figured, you know, I would increase my odds. Um, and in this pairing, it's not just super butter. Um, there's the potential to be butter uh, Mojave to create the bells. Um, so, you know, hopefully I, I do have some better odds, um, and, you know, since it's not straight super butter, um, but we'll see. Um, she has gone off of food. I will show her later. Uh, so hopefully, you know, I can create, some, make some bells, make some stuff to sell at shows, things like that. Um, and worst case scenario, you know, the, the pastel Mojaves and pastel butters are going to be visually appealing. Um, so hopefully, you know, if I, I will be producing them for sure. Uh, it just depends whether it's a uh, butter or Mojave. Um, so hopefully those will be on my table uh, you know, in, in the future um, and we can find them good homes. All right, these next few are all going to be Ghost or um, Ipo, I believe, depending on whatever the lines are. Um, let's see what I have. This, this one is. So they're all going to be labeled Hypo for me because I don't really don't care about the lines on that. Um, but this one is a Mojave Hypo girl that I got from Malaysia over at Whisk Constrictors. Um, I believe she's in the shed. It's sort of, sort of hard to tell <laughs> with some of these uh, Hypos as you know they are sort of frosty and muted to begin with. Uh, she apparently was mean when I got her, but hasn't you know, been mean since she's been here, and it certainly hasn't missed a meal. So you know, we're about two years away from her being in the breeding rotation, but she's about ready to move on to a bigger tub. Um, but I really do like the pattern, even though it, you know, it's just Mojave and, you know, the visual hypo. Um, so, you know, working some of these bell complex genes alone, um, you know, really do some cool things with these animals. All right, this next one here was another new pickup. You've seen her a couple times um, on my channel, on my past videos. This one is an Enchi Butter Red Stripe ghost um, so I, I really like you know what butter's doing in here um, you know I have another female that is similar but this one was purchased from John and Christine over at Triforce and you know I can't wait till she grows up um, I, it's the only red stripe I have um, so you know I'm really looking forward to seeing you know what that does in some other you know combinations that you know with a uh, hypo moving forward even though we are talking about you know, butter and bell complex stuff this video, but a lot of these animals that I am showing aren't, I'm not going to be intentionally trying to make bells with them because they do have other genetics that I don't want to get washed out by creating an all-white snake. 
All right, this one here is being super uncooperative uh, for whatever reason. She is a super pastel and she butter ghost. So uh, similar coloration and pattern uh, to the one I just showed. The super pastel uh, does sort of busy up the dorsal and alien heads and whatnot. Um, but you can definitely see, you know, where it, where it has the butter influence here. Um, yeah, so a lot of this stuff I have, you know, butter, uh, Mojave in with hypo and, and that sort of thing. So I, I really like the way they all work together. So I'm, I'm trying to just keep it all on one side for the most part. So if I produce a male, chances are um, they're going to be for sale because I don't want to, you know, um, create a, a blue-eyed leucistic snake with, you know, multiple codoms and things in it that you can't see. Uh, in, in this case, they, it has the potential to also be a you know, visual hypo, <laughs> um, depending on, you know, what, what I pair to her. Uh, so, you know, I, I want to avoid making that all white snake unless I'm intentionally making it and I know what's in it, uh, as is the case with the pairings that I've been doing. All right, and here is my only uh, blue-eyed leucistic uh, snake in the entire collection. She is a butter Mojave. I believe I got her from Chun over at Dynasty at as I did a lot of my, um, you know, initial purchases, it was just easy to go on to his website and, and purchase them. Uh, and, you know, when I was getting in, this was sort of one of the ideal snakes to produce. So I figured I'd cut out, uh, you know, the middle and just get a visual or an act like super where no matter what she's going to produce, it's going to be butter or Mojave. Um, so I am trying to make Bells this year, um, she has been paired to the Super Pastel Leopard Butter that I showed earlier. Uh, so everything, like I said, is going to be pastel or butter. With the chance of, you know, hitting that Blue-Eyed Lucy, there's could be two variations of that, the Super Butter or the Butter Mojave like this one is. And there's also a chance that Leopard could be in there. So if I do hit a bell, I will probably be black lighting them uh, just to see if that Leopard does show up because they everything in the clutch is going to be pastel. Um, and it, it varies on whatever she throws, whether it's going to be the butter or Mojave uh, that shows up in the offspring. But yeah, I just want to do a, a video on the, the bell complex stuff that I have here. Um, you know, it's mostly butter, but there are there are this one has Mojave, and so does the the, um, the hypo that I showed earlier. All right, that's it for me today. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.